Hey guys, EasyTech has released the trailer for European War 7 and uh, looking at the trailer there are a few additional insights we can get on the game. For example here we can see the structure of the missions, there are for every stage, we start from the last of the Romans, eight uh, missions to complete the campaign, then you have to do six uh, attempts for the Scourge of God which, which probably will unlock the legendary general and then you go to chapter 2 the rise of Byzantium and then the spear of Byzantium which, which will unlock the second legendary general I think will be Saladin. As usual campaign mode is normal and hard and at the bottom you can see the icon castle um, not very clear on this one and then you can uh, train your units item shop we saw there are different items to augment the capabilities of the armies and the general then the general recruiting the units recruiting and the shop where you can buy medals, in-up, generals and stuff like that. And here we have a, a quick uh, glimpse into the generals, very fast, but we can slow it down and analyze a little bit more. In this first video screen these are the legendary generals, we can see Attila, Charlemagne, Justinian, Belisarius, which is the first one, Alfred the Great, Caesar, Ezius and Beowulf. All these I believe are part of the legendary. They need to unlock and we can see there are two symbols for each of them. One indicates the rank and the other the nobility which link to health and uh, general ability. Then we have another group of general which are normal. We see Sarus, Ivar, Fatima, Theodoric, Theodora, Lupicius, Hermeric, Antonina, these are not really high rank, so probably these are some of the cheap ones. And this last lot is clearly Club of the Losers, Gunderic, John the Armenian, Mikdad, probably the one I will never buy. And here we have a peek at the gameplay, you see some battle uh, movements, and we can look a bit more in detail, say freeze. So here we can see the special skill we can call for the general and also the opportunity the war gear to add equipment and we see every general has an army of three units attached to it. In this frame we can see the general has a one cavalry, a two melee cavalry attached. So you can see two cavalry blue sign which is the damage done by the cavalry and a minus 26 damage inflicted by them. Then here we can see all the option of uh, items they can give uh, speed uh, and special skill or special damage and also in naval you have for example this warship that gives also the opportunity to give a bigger attack you have the ambush mode armies which are hidden then appear trapping and then we go into the conquest mode we've seen in the previous uh, videos i shared some of the screenshot every conquest the different scenarios and diplomacy is a big news, I mean this comes from really like Rome Total War and here in this frame we can see the detail of which uh, uh, nations is in war, which were nations are at peace that will affect the probability of making an alliance so when you want to offer an alliance here is a chance 84% which is very likely and indeed it worked and so you have an allies or you can get a request to wage war against another nation which you will give you a reward the diplomacy points which is good to do especially to build also money and very interesting we can look at this uh, national policy screenshot apart from the diplomacy also is management logistic and combat you can invest in research and improve certain areas we saw that one of the key points of the game is over 300 troops and let's look at this uh, specific frame so first of all here we see what are the six uh, type of uh, units we have melee infantry, counter infantry, melee cavalry, charging cavalry, range infantry and ranged cavalry in this case we're looking into the melee infantry we see different level of army level one is the most basic it is only one option swordsman level two there are two options infantry guard and legion brigade in uh, level 3 you have three options and so forth uh, till to get to level 5 where you can have the elite swordsman or the janissary 
which have a stronger power, of course. And of course, another look at the legendary general. I already commented on this screenshot. For Charlemagne, you need to do these six steps. So you have to pass the six mission, rescue the Pope, Saxon War, Battle of Roncesvalles, Battle of Verdun, Bavaria, and Roman Emperor, and you get the Charlemagne at a big discount, I guess. Pretty exciting. So that's it. If you like the video, don't forget to click like and subscribe to my channel, and we can all not wait for the game to be released. Still no date officially, but we're very close now.